All right, Coach, we're here with the uh, weekly press conference getting ready for Stephen F. Austin. Just open up with an opening statement about uh, Stephen F. Austin. What you know, Coach? I know the biggest thing is uh, I think that you know, during the course of the week, our guys had a great week of practice for one. Uh, the things we're trying to do um, to, in preparation for this, this ball game on Saturday. So uh, Stephen F. Austin, uh, coached by Coach Kobe, uh, great coach, been there for four years, um, a first-year defensive coordinator, um, a four-year um, offense coordinator, Coach Storm. Uh, so they do some pretty good things exactly uh, offensively. Um, they got a good weapon on offense in Kipson. Uh, they're do some great things at the quarterback self. Uh, pretty good talented guy. So uh, on defense, we got to play solid. We got to play fast. We got to wrap up. We got to lock up um, on those guys that on that tackling. So um, our, uh, defensively, they got some long guys on defense. So uh, we got to be prepared for them guys and um, the things that they do. Um, they got a good safety to come down and, and tackle the coach and, um, and herd. Um, very physical guy. Uh, good, good defensive line. They solid and long. So it's going to be a physical ball game in terms of what they're going to do in, in, uh, to offset our, our game plan too as well. So we're very excited about uh, playing our game movement here at home in Jack's uh, Spring Castle State. All right, KJ, just talk a little bit about what you might have seen so far. You know, they gave up a lot of points against Jacksonville State, but again, they, they didn't play badly at certain points. Just talk about what you've seen and, and what you think you guys might be able to exploit this weekend. Um, you know, they're a real RPO heavy team, 11 personnel team. Uh, like Coach Mack was saying, they got some good weapons outside. And, uh, Xavier Gibson and Trey Sub kind of get them going at quarterback. I feel like, you know, um, we take care of the RPO. We force them to run the ball and take away the big play that we have a good shot this week. Nico, just uh, what what have you been able to see that you, that you think, you know, without giving away any game plan that, that you might be able to do this week? And just, you know, how, how do you feel about going up against a team from the WAC? Uh, like Coach said, we got to be physical, uh, especially up front. They have some big guys. Um, they got a safety that can come down, isn't afraid to hit. They gave up a lot of rushing yards, so we're just going to, you know, go off that and, you know, try to run the ball. And, KJ, just talk about playing a team that's ranked in the top 20 coming in here to Jack Spain's Marino Castle Stadium. How big it really is. I know fans may not may not think that because obviously they're, they're really into the swag. But just talk about how big this game really is in, in that retrospect. Um, it's really just, you know, it's, it's like a stepping stone for us, you know, just to come in, get a ranked opponent the first week, see where we're at. And then it's kind of like a good test for the swag to see where we rank up at, with other FCS conferences. Coach. You know, it's it's always big to be able to play a huge opponent week one. You like to try to get your feet wet a little bit and play a, you know, kind of a tune-up game, but that, that's not happening right now. How? What are the pros and cons kind of of playing a team of this magnitude right off the bat? You know, I, I enjoy it myself, and, and the thing is, this team is uh, uh, the expectation is very high. We 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 don't expect anything less uh, than what we do in terms of the team we play. Uh, like the schedule we're playing, uh, Stephen of Austin, we played them back in the early '80s. Uh, years back, so I'm excited about it. And uh, the thing is, uh, for this conference, uh, the SWAC conference, to play a uh, top ranked team in the FCS, it means a lot. Uh, see where we stand in our rankings. Um, but, you know, we just got to play fast, play hard um, against this team that we're going to play on Saturday. Uh, so I'm very excited about the things that we're doing as a coaching staff. I think the young men are very prepared uh, and to, to, to battle with this great football team that's going to come in. I think Coach Kobe's done a real good job uh, in that league um, um, with that team he got there, there, uh, Stephen of Austin. So the biggest thing is we just got to be ready for um, to play a physical, physical ball game. Nico, teams from Texas traditionally really physical, really big. Uh, just talk about what you have to do to kind of counter that with some of the shiftiness and, and the speed that may have here at Alcorn that some people may be overlooking. Um, based on what we saw, you know, we're an up-tempo team, uh, get tired fast. So um, I really just be myself, uh, be the shifty quick back that I can be and, you know, fit through the tight gaps and just, you know, run the ball like I can. How's it going to feel coming out of camp to actually play a game now? You guys are beating up on each other for weeks now. How, how good is it going to feel to actually run through that tunnel and, and come out on the field and really get behind, you know, have that crowd get behind you, hear that chop and just know that it's, it's game time? It's, it's going to be good. Um, this is our first home opener in a while, so um, a lot of fans are going to be out. We're excited. I know the fans are excited. So we're just going to play our brand of football. 
Uh, KJ, at SWAC Media Day, you said it. You said you, you don't lose at the Sphinx. You know, you, you, you mentioned it, and they talked about how coming down in reservation, it's one of the toughest venues in all of FCS football. Just talk about how good it's going to feel to come out there as a leader on defense and just really put your hat on somebody and be ready to play. You know, it's, uh, it's long overdue. You know, it's long awaited. You know, we've been kind of been chippy in camp. So we've been biting at the tongue trying to get at it. So that first game is going to be crazy. The energy is going to be there. And we're going to show up. How good is it going to be to actually get back here? I mean, just, you know, so long and, and, and a year seems like forever right now, but just to be back here in your environment, not a road game, you know, you have your routine. What, what What's that going to feel like? It's just, you know, it's home. So, you know, you're just going to be comfortable at home. And that's just what it's going to be. Coach, talk about the winning streak. A lot of us made of it, but you do have the longest home winning streak in the SWAC right now. Just talk about how this game is going to really uh, put that to the test and how really if you pass those and coaches, it's, it's a major hurdle for this program, yes? I think it set the tempo for this program that we have here um, and the things these young men are able to do uh, throughout camp, throughout the summer program, the workouts and all that kind of stuff. And, and just to see the opposition on the other side of the field and get an opportunity to play against somebody else and other than uh, beating on, on each other during the course of the week. I think uh, the coaching staff, we've done a fine job in keeping the young men healthy uh, throughout this camp. And, uh, you know, this is going to be it's going to be a great football game, great atmosphere uh, here at Jacks Bean Castle Stadium. And uh, we're excited about this coach as well, just to see what kind of work that we young men are putting in all through the week and through camp uh, to prepare themselves for this day on Saturday. I'm going to go down the line and start with you, Nico. Just talk about what this is going to do for SWAC football. It's a lot has been made of SWAC football throughout the offseason. Just what is this going to do, this game right here, against a really good opponent going to do for SWAC football overall as a display? Uh, it's just going to show the the, the tempo. Uh, okay. Hold on. Cut, cut. No, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> you're good. Cut that out. You're good. You're good. You can, uh, ask again. Yeah, just what's it going to do for the SWAC? You know, the SWAC football has been made to to really be put on a pedestal right now, you know, for the display and, and the, the student athletes we have, the coaches we have, the facilities we have. Just what's it going to do to, to display that for Alcorn and the SWAC overall? Uh, it's definitely going to give us a little bit more exposure. Um, you know, like you said, in the off season, uh, the SWAC has been a, a big talk um, in the nation. Um, so it's just going to show the – the fans and everybody out there that SWAC has athletes too. You know, we have people that, that can play ball. So that's what I feel like this game is going to show. KJ, what's it going to mean for the SWAC and, and the display that you put on? And, and talk about some of the NFL talent that this league has on display, but a lot of people kind of overlook each week. Yeah, kind of like Nico was saying, uh, you know, we don't really get the opportunity to play in the playoffs. So people don't really kind of respect us in a sense. But I feel like this game is just a – it means to open people's eyes that the SWAC has a lot of talent and that we can compete with anybody. Coach, just picking off what uh, KJ just talked about right there, last year the SWAC did get a playoff member for for the first time in, in years. Just talk about what that does, that where you have a team go to, to you know, team to the Celebration Bowl and then you get an at-large bid to the FCS playoffs. What's that going to do for this league as a whole? I think that's one of the things our SWAC commissioner really enforced on us as a, as a university. Uh, to play those upper launch FCS teams to, to strengthen our schedule so we can get that bid uh, to a full playoff game in terms of what we do for the Celebration Bowl and have a team to go to the playoffs. So the strengthening our schedule that we have here, I think um, it's going to make us better for the, the conference, uh, the, the level of competition that we're playing now uh, with Stevie L. Boston with a two-lane and then a McNeese State. Um, we have to travel there. So the biggest thing is to strengthen our schedule other than just playing um, Virginia Union or some, some team like that. Um, but it's going to help us as overall as a university wide with exposure, even if we go to the Celebration Bowl or even if we just go to a playoff game, just give us that kind of exposure uh, in this conference. Guys, I'm going to go down the line and we're going to finish like this. Just one word to describe your feeling for this weekend. Excited. KJ? Fired up. Coach, I, I'm not going to ask you that one. I'm going to let you finish off with, with, with your classic phrase, Coach. What, what do we do together? It's big and braves. Together we rise. Thank you guys so much.